Hey, hello, hi, welcome everybody back to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how we can use our 30s as a computer. So what we're going to be doing on here is we're going to be installing something using custom firmware and we're also going to be running something on our computer and then what that's going to let us do is basically use the 30s's controls and emulate it as a controller on our computer and we're going to be able to also see what we have on our monitor and with that we could be able to run certain games like gta fortnite and see how that pretty much just runs let's just get right into it all right so first thing you want to do is go onto your computer and put your 30s's sd card inside and you should be able to launch it up and go through all your files and stuff and what you want to do next is if you don't have custom firmware already go to 30s.hacks.guide and go and install it so now that you already have custom firmware installed you can go back to this video and go to the second link in the description which should take you to this microsoft page you want to go ahead and install the x86 version and then what you want to do next is go to the github link in the description and it should take you over here and you want to go ahead and just press download.x64 press save and you, and then you want to go over to the next link and this should take you to this pinbox server.zip and then you want to go ahead and press download it might take some time to go ahead and download it so just give it that all right so after some time um you it should come up over here and you just want to press save and then what you want to go and do next is go over to the next link and it should say pinbox 30sx.zip and then you want to go ahead and press download and then you just want to press save all right and the next link should take you to some 360 download page it's just going to be a direct download so i'm going to have to paste and go to it and then press download and then it's going to be the same thing for these next two files server.cfg and then press save and then there's another one that's similar to it and download that too and that's pretty much it for now. And then once you have all these files downloaded, we're going to go ahead into our file explorer. I just also wanted to mention that if you guys do need help with anything, we can, you can just join our Discord server. And it's just a Discord server for the channel in general. If you guys just want to chat, if you need help, if you want to go and socialize a bit, or if you have any feedback or if suggestions, video suggestions and whatnot, let me know. And you guys can always get into contact with me through the server. So... Now what we're going to do next is just go ahead and go to our files explorer and show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so if you're going to want to be doing this, you're going to have to be on Windows because we're also going to be installing stuff specifically designed for Windows. So if you're on Linux or Mac, then I don't think you're going to be able to do this. So what we're going to go and do is go to vcredisk.x86 and just double click on that so we can go and install it. I agree and install and then just have this install. And then it says we can restart our computer, but we're also going to be doing some other things before we restart. So we can just press close for now. And then we're going to go over to this right here and press install. We can go ahead and press I accept, install, yes. And then we can go and press finish. And then we can go ahead and restart our computer. Okay, so now that we restarted our computer, you want to go over back to your downloads folder. And then you want to go over to pinbox30sx.zip. And you want to go and double click on that double click on the 30s folder double click on pinbox and take these two files and put it onto the 3ds folder on your sd card so once we have it transfer over here we go to 3ds and we should see the stuff that we just transferred right here all right so now what we want to do is go back to our downloads folder and go over to the xbox 360 thing and then just double click on that you want to press yes and then you want to press this over here. It's in French for some reason. We can go ahead and press next. You want to go and download and install this feature. And we just want to let it load for a bit. It did kind of take a while for me to actually install it. But here we go. Uh, as you can see, it's completed. You want to press close. And then you want to press close over here. And then what we want to do next is go to the pinbox server thing right here. Right click. And then you just want to extract it. So we can go and press extract all. And then we have the folder right here. And then what you want to do next is you want to go and open a new window and then go and double click on it. Go to data. And then what you want to do next is take these two files that we downloaded earlier and put them onto here and then replace them. 
and then we're pretty much done and then we're gonna go ahead and go over to our 3ds okay so here we are on our 3ds we can go ahead and go and launch up the homebrew launcher and then once you're on a homebrew launcher you can go ahead and scroll down up until you see pin box and then we want to go and launch that up and then once you're on pin box you want to go ahead and press edit okay so now what you want to do is actually we want to go over to our computer so now that we're on our computer you want to go back to the pin box server folder that we messed with earlier you want to go and double click on it double click on the other folder go to data and then you want to go over to pin box server right here application and you can hear the windows chime sound effect which means that we have the xbox controller plugged in and then you can go down over here to we have the ip address right here and then you want to go ahead and actually type that in into your 3ds so i'll show you guys what to do from there okay so now that we got our number we can go ahead and put it in okay so now that we have our ip address put in we can go ahead and press ok and then we can go ahead and press start and then as you can see we have our computer launched up right here if, if I move stuff on my mouse over here, you can see that I can pretty much use the, the 3DS as like a different monitor. So it's basically just um, mirroring your stuff over here. But if we go over to a game, I think our thing should be working. So um, let's try to launch up a game and see if our uh, co uh, controls right here start working because that's pretty much the point of what the Xbox thing was supposed to do it was supposed to emulate a control so if I go to our epic games launcher and we should go and probably launch up some Fortnite or something let's go and see what happens if we do that okay so here we are on our 3ds and as you can see our buttons work so that's sick okay so if we go ahead and choose our game over here we can go ahead and press zero build and then i'll try to zoom in for you guys to go and see what's up over here so basically the controls are kind of a bit messed up because uh it's nintendo and it's emulating an xbox control so x is going to be y and y is going to be x and this b is going to be a and a is going to be b and that's pretty much it so we can go ahead and use our right bumpers over here and go ahead and just mess around with the stuff um, it seems that uh, audio doesn't work, but if you want to go ahead and mess around with it on the uh, on the computer, you can go ahead and pretty sure um, enable audio. But um, I did read the uh, README on the files, and it did say that it was going to have some uh, issues if you do have um, audio. So I think if you want the best performance out of this, then it's just best to not use audio at all. So we can go ahead and just press uh, X to go and start the game. And let's see what happens and see how well this runs. Here we are on the lobby. And if you go ahead and move around, you would see that it works. So the C stick works great. We can see that we're using it just fine. We can go ahead and jump and stuff. Um, okay, so here we are. This is actually insane. Okay, yeah, start and select works. So we can go ahead and choose. Let's go to tilted. Oh, wait, 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 did I jump out? Okay, no, I didn't jump out. Okay, okay, okay. Go, where's tilted? Okay. Yeah, it's down there. Oh, wait, no. A and B do work. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, that's sick. Okay. We can go ahead and just go down to our... And see if we can go and try to at least kill a few people or something this actually runs like not that bad i would assume that if you're going to be a bit farther from your computer it would probably be a bit worse but honestly this is actually not that bad i would this would need some getting a um getting used to okay so to mine or to use your pickaxe you want to press the the shoulder button right here but to to switch around your your weapons you want to press r Okay, so yeah, that's going to need some getting used to. Okay. Yeah, so A is to jump. Okay. Wait. Oi. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, that was, that was close. Okay. If you guys liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and join our Discord server. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.